In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can create and alter your database using MySQL Schema Manager. Before we begin, uh, first of all, in my cluster, I have my MySQL server running and also my Vault server running. So you can see the YAMLs here. And uh, in this MySQL server, I'm going to create my uh, own database using the Schema Manager and under the hood to uh, manage the user, as you know, Schema Manager is just fault. Uh, I have to mention this fault server uh, in this Schema YAML here. So first of all, let's look into my workstation. I have my MySQL server running here and also my Vault server. Uh, and this is the current, uh, in this terminal, I, I am currently logged in as the MySQL admin. So let's see the databases. Okay, so uh, before we uh, apply the YAML, uh, you can see here that in this database server reference, I have to mention the server name and server namespace uh, in which I want to create my database. And in the config section, I can mention the name, character set, encryption and read only. Also, I can mention the collation here. So the full configuration I can set uh, in this section. And in the vault ref section, I have to mention the vault server reference. And uh, I can uh, mention the subject's name uh, to which the login credentials would be bind uh, in the cluster. And also the default detail means that for how long the credentials would be valid. So here I have mentioned five minutes and after five minutes, the uh, credentials should be invalid and user uh, should not be able to log in using those credentials. So let's apply our YAML. So here you can see that uh, our schema, schema YAML has been deployed and uh, the status has progressed to in progress uh, to current. And uh, so our database should be created Okay, so you can see that uh, our database is created successfully. Uh, okay, now uh, let's get the credentials. So you can uh, get the credentials uh, like this. Uh, if you don't have the view secret installed in your PC, then uh, you can get the secret and um, decode it into base 64. So uh, I can show you that secret sql secret secret uh secret secret session demo x okay so you can see that there's a secret created uh, uh the prefix of the secret should be the schema manager's name is schema basic and if you uh, get the secret here schema basic and dash o yaml you can see that the uh, uh, name and uh, the password and username are there and if you do it base 64 decode then you would get the same result uh, here so let's try to log in using these credentials i am exec into uh, uh, my into that mysql server so now let's use the credential Okay, so you can see that the login is successful. So let's see the view from this user perspective. So yes, you can see that uh, we can see the MyDB using these credentials. And okay, so let's create another database here. Create database. And, um, and let's try to see this. So you can see that we can see that uh, see other databases uh, rather than MyDB for why when we are logged in uh, using these credentials. So okay, uh, this is uh, fine. Uh, now let's see what is our database configuration here. Should create database MyDB. 
Okay, in this section, we can see that uh, get the character set is UTF-8, the encryption is uh, disabled, and the UTF-8 was mentioned in the YAML here. So let's alter our database. So we want this character set to be big five. Okay, so we have changed the YAML and let's apply. Okay, so this is configured. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see that the default character set has been changed to big five as we have changed in the YAML and applied it. So this is how you can uh, create your database inside the MySQL database server. And also you can alter the database uh, using the schema manager. And uh, yes, uh, this is pretty much it. And also uh, uh, we have showed that after uh, when the uh, default detail is uh, over, then the user credentials should be invalid. So uh, the age is now three minutes and 54 seconds. So we have to wait for another one minute, I guess. Okay, so as the default time limit would uh, exceed the five minute then the status should become expired and the credentials would uh, should become invalid. So you can see that the status has become expired let's try to uh, do any sort of query okay so you can see that the access is denied so the connection of the session has been disconnected uh, let's try to log in again it's in the same credential so yes you can see that the access is denied and if we see uh, from the user perspective uh, from the admin perspective user from mysql user so you can see here that uh, the user has been deleted from the table of mysql user so this is how you can create alter your database and this is how schema manager manages its user uh, regarding the default detail thank you